anytime you're writing an official document you would want to have every new chapter that you create begin on a new page but this sometimes becomes so much of a headache in this video i'm going to walk you through how to generate this automatically so keep watching hi i'm elonia obed and you're welcome to our channel if this happens to be your first time here or you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified anytime we release a new video in this video as i said earlier we are going to learn how to make every new chapter begin on a new page and doing this automatically so let's get into the pc and i'll show you exactly how to do this so this is a document that we are going to use and you realize i formatted it such that every new chapter begins on a new page this can be done manually but the challenge is after you've done this nice arrangement and you want to add any new content to it it may end up distorting the documents that you've done so let's presume that after doing this neat work i go ahead and add some other content so i'm just going to add some random content in here to see what is going to happen all right so now we have some random content and as you can see our table of content has shifted downwards so every time you do something like this we we'll have to come back and try and adjust this but what we want to learn in this video is how to make sure that this is done automatically so that irrespective of the new content that we are adding we always have our chapters the various chapters on new pages so to achieve this you have to make sure that your various chapters are given a specific heading type so for instance all the titles in this particular document happen to have the heading one attribute so make sure you select all your titles that you want to be or the chapters that you want to be on different page documents or new pages to have this particular heading attribute so let me check another heading that we have acknowledgement acknowledgement when you click it you realize that it's also having the heading one attribute the content here does not have heading one attribute so once i click within it moves away from the heading one but the acknowledgement actually has heading one attribute and any other title i have here i've given it the heading one attribute so in order to ensure that every other heading one attribute or every other title or chapter that you are creating will stand on its own on various pages this is how to go about it so before that let me distract this and bring okay so if you can appreciate what i've done right now i've brought the preface and the acknowledgement on the same page but after we do what i'm going to walk you through right now we are going to see that the acknowledgement will go to a new page on itself and the table of content will also be on a new page on itself so all you need to do is select your heading one then right click on it go to modify from modify down here go to format then choose paragraph when you come to this part we have indent and space and then we have line and page breaks so you are going to choose line and page break so the rationale behind what we are doing is we are actually going to set page breaks after or before each new chapter so before each new chapter or title that you want to stand on a new page we are going to create a page break by creating a page break it means the chapter has to be forced to the next page so we need to select this particular one that says page break before so this means that there should be a page break before the heading that i have created so click ok and ok now the formatting has taken place and let's see what is here preface is now on its own acknowledgement is also on another page then let's go to table of contents and see what's there so you see initially table of content was on this blank page but now it has been moved to the next page 
So any other thing, this one too is having the heading attribute, so it has moved to the next week. This is how you can make each chapter or title, a specific title, stand on its own on a new page every time that you edit your way. That is to say, to have it done automatically. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. I hope you have learned something new today. Also, if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly subscribe for more tutorials like this and to show us your support. If you like this video, give the video a thumbs up and share the video with your colleagues so that they will also learn something new from this. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.